Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and share an organizational video with you. I just organized my medicine cabinet and I think it looks so streamlined. I'm so excited to share this with you. I was inspired by a pharmacy actually and I picked up some bins. These right here on the bottom are magazine bins and then the one in the middle is just a basket. And then up here are magazines bins, in the middle are magazine bins as well with the circle round basket in the middle. And then here I just bought the square shaped bins up there that are working nicely. And so the bottom ones are the magazine bins that I just flipped backwards so that I didn't have to see all the medicines. I just felt like it looked cluttered seeing all the medications facing towards me. And it also gives it some visual interest. So let's go ahead and get started. I, I do have a disclaimer. If you hear my voice getting really scratchy and just sounding all off, it's because I'm still fighting a cold. My kids all have a cold and I just got the tail end of it. And so anyway, I think us moms really need to be exempt from having any type of virus or cold because this is just not fair. <laughs> anyway, enough of my complaining. Let's get started with this organizational video. So right here we have mom's meds and what it basically is is just vitamins and one medication that I need to take. And then here is the stomach ache relief bin and what I have here is Imodium for stomach flu symptoms, gas relief, laxative, Pepto, some Tums and then some acid reflux medication should anybody need that. And this may look like a lot of medicines, right? But keep in mind, I have a huge family. I have eight kids, so that we're a family of 10. So this suits our family perfectly. And I always need to be prepared for any type of sickness that hits our home because trust me, we've had every virus known to man. I swear, that's how I feel. Anyway, so this is extra vitamins in this basket. And then I have an alcohol bottle there. Just These are all extras. And then back here, I have pain and fever. And these are for the... Um, oh no, sorry. This was... Yeah, this is the pain and fever. So I have baby ibuprofen and Tylenol. Ibuprofen for kids. And then some ibuprofen for adults. And then some Tylenol and a thermometer. So that was the pain and fever relief bin. And then here I have cold and flu for adults. So, um, excuse my clutter back here. I just got done organizing. So I wrote out um, all of these labels. And by the way, I got these at Target Dollar Spot and they were a dollar, which they work out perfectly. The only thing I will say is that sometimes like these right here, this sticker is coming apart because I have it folded over on the ledge here. And so what I'm going to do is just put some clear tape over it. But that's the only thing I will say is that it's coming up. But with these, they, we don't have that problem because they're not folded over a ledge, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yes, I do like these. I do like the colors. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the cold and flu. I have some hauls in this little Tupperware from Dollar Tree. And then I have airborne vitamin C, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree in here as well. And then Rubitussin and then some Mucinex there. And I also t tend to keep uh, the tea called throat coat in here, but I don't have it on hand. So I need to repurchase that. And then... Let's take this out. And then back here, I have a diffuser. My diffuser in here. And then I have my favorite, e um, what are these called? Essential oils in here. And this really helps this bin, this little Tupperware, helps keep the scents at bay inside of there. So I really love that. And I love how that circle bin just nestles back there easily. And then I could just put back all my bins. Super streamlined. And then here I have my first aid kit, which is looking kind of sorry because all of our first aid kits are basically in our vehicles. So I have a red Tupperware bin that has some band-aids in it. I chose red for the first aid because whenever I think first aid, I think red. So I got 
a red Tupperware bin that has the band-aids and then I have some gloves in here and some alcohol I am gonna go ahead and do a Dollar Tree haul on first aid kits so that will be down the line so keep an eye out for that and then here it says kids cold and flu and so I have their vitamins I have Zarbies by the way Zarbies is my favorite medicine for kids with cold and flu because it really does help and it's natural it's made out of honey and uh, dark it has some other I forgot what it has in there but it has some other things in there and the nighttime one has melatonin in it so when you have really sick kids it's hard for them to sleep and so the melatonin really helps aid them in sleeping which is such a godsend because it really does help out when they're really ill and then I have some other cough syrups going on there and then another thermometer so that is that and then up here I have extra vitamins back here and then here I have sinuses and allergies so the sinuses I have for what I have for the sinuses are a neti pot neti pot refills and then here I have some ear putty for when my kids get ear infections they get to put the ear putty in their ears before they take a shower so no water gets in there causing more damage and then here I have some eye drops and then some Benadryl liquid Benadryl and then here I have muscle muscle pain aid which is I have um, some muscle melt you just rub that into your muscles for pain relief and then here I have a heat pack that you could just put in the microwave and then wrap it around the area that has pain and then a muscle wrap and then some instant hot packs and in the freezer I also have some cold packs in there as well and then back there I have just a round bin with some random items and then the top row is just kind of random so I have some wine glasses in these bins I didn't put any labeling here because I wasn't sure I'm actually I'm not going to keep those wine glasses in there but for right now that's that works and then I have an empty bin here and then a gardening bin here uh, I know the gardening bin is kind of random as well but I didn't have anywhere else to put that and I'm also going to do a video um, a gardening video um, using Dollar Tree seeds so anyway that is my organizational video if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and like and subscribe to this video if you want more of these videos thanks bye